Okay, and uh, it gets to that point, like I was saying, I forgot what I was saying, being unrecognizable, and but to be able to move forward in that, and who you are, what you are, and to allow uh, the woman, again, not to be drained so much, and she can be, again, if you can look at each individual from that sciences, like I said, not all sides, but all science, then in a relationship, the woman won't be so drained. The woman could be the human being, the, the guide, the energy that she is totally, and not something that you can choose sides, as I was saying, it's, it's choose sides, but in the precision decision that's been made, these are the sciences of the situation. Yes, the sciences of the situation, but gives it its credence and its overstanding. So the woman has reached uh, that level in her uh, inhabitants here on earth which is, man, very, very, very powerful. And uh, we all know that, so. Uh, but yeah, uh, men, we have to stop draining the women. She's, because you, oh, you say woman, she's supposed to, no, she's supposed to be a human being first. So to set, the man usually sets himself up to drain the woman of her energy. Uh, either knowingly or unknowingly, unsuccessfully, as we see in wars and how we treat women in, in the child molestation, the rape, murder, or sex trafficking and all of that, okay? Uh, women didn't start all of these things, doing all these things. So um, that's where we can see that the feminine principle is not recognized, but needs to be. It would be, would, would be more powerful. Would, the world would be ruled much more powerfully in that way. Okay, and, and, and the women would be, wouldn't be drained so much. Like, I suppose you, oh, she's nurturing, she's woman. No, you're supposed to be nurturing, man, just as nurturing as this woman is. If the woman has to do all the 100% nurturing, you're doing zero. Look how much drainage that is going on. Yeah. Okay, hold on, here I come. Here we go. That's all of you. Okay, yeah. Look how much draining that's going on. If the woman has to do all the nurture, you're doing none. Her life force energy is going away, being taken away. So after years in a relationship, well, I'm not the same person. You, knew, you never knew who I was and all of that because that is true. They don't get to express themselves as a human being, but just as a woman, which puts the man himself in a very precarious situation, uncaring, unnurturing situation, unknowingly, you see. Human beings don't try to be uncaring. Only a certain uh, genetic factors that bring up the uncaring, uh, when that needs to be caring in certain in emergency situations. Uh, these people are the ones that are there, but when the caring doesn't go on, it's just it's, it's cold, but that's not their DNA. In emergency situations is to completely destroy the situation. And in some emergency situations, some people's DNA is to completely heal the situation, completely, okay? So a lot of times we get people on the scene that are, the DNA is to completely destroy, and we expect them to heal it. And, 
them say, oh, that's who they are. No, that's because they're there first, or they're, they're there to create the situation, and then to come back and say, oh, well, we know what's going to happen, who's going to be there, how it's going to happen. We can control the situation very easily. So, again, uh, the women uh, have to do too much nurturing and their life force is drained because a lot of women who are uh, been raped in their life, basically, before they get to be teens. And so that's a drain to hold on to that, to be misused and abused and all of that, to hold on to those truths. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you're draining the women too much because you know, if you don't know how to cook, clean, or if you just think that's a woman's job, and that's draining her. It's not a, just a woman's job. That's a human experience. That's what that is. That's a human experience. You clean up behind yourself. You you know how to use your hands, your feet, your coordination uh, to combine what it is you're doing throughout the day to make life go on and not to handicap yourself so the game can be played evenly and uh, like the golf if you're not very good they call it handicap and they give you a handicap to uh, basically bring you up to, <laughs> to par <laughs> and uh, that and that's what's not good for the woman yeah to keep holding her back just because you think oh this is how you was raised this is how it was raised this is how it goes no let the woman be a human being first before she's a woman. Precision, the precision decision of the creation process gives her, her that in which we need to have in our lives, gave her that power. And not just because she's a woman, but, but that human being there is the one that was chosen to do that. Not because she's a woman, we'll take the woman out, but that human being there the precision decision was chosen for her to carry the child. And now the precision decision to give her a seed to the before the child even gets here is, is on the man in the Garden of Eden. Herbs are for the healing of the nation and all of that, you see, brother. Okay, so that's supposed to be a nurturing thing before you even go up in her with that. You see how that goes in hand in hand. So uh, again, to uh, combine your gifts and talents, uh, being able to know the coordination, to judge heat, timing, uh, things that go on in society, and to use your whole self, your whole being, to make that a smooth transition doesn't allow for the woman to be completely drained again. It, it balances out the thing, the greatest of, of life finders, golf. Yeah, we, this, this is the golf, greatest of life finders because you have to balance the thing. It's like the game of golf. It handicaps you if you're not very good and all of that. Well, the earth, the, and the elements, that's what you should handicap yourself through that. Not through the woman, but through the air, fire, earth, gas, and fire, and water, those things. And then the woman you can see her who she is. Not just come, oh, she's a woman, she's gonna do that for me, she's gonna do that. So th that's unknowingly draining her, giving her the woman's role things to do. That's unknowingly draining her of her feminine power. Because you have a, a female brain, you see. You're supposed to come to her as an equal, using your, knowing how to get here, knowing how to do this, knowing how to do that, all these things to give her power to, to, so when you get ready to be rejuvenated, <laughs> to become as one, you see, yes, then you can see what all of, what a woman is. That's how you just devise what a woman and a man is through the most powerful events, sequences that go on in life. It's like when you come together and become one, then you see that oneness, how it happens. Under, under that pressure, water breaks. Ah, there you go. Smooth transition. 